My name is Brian Setlock. I am the owner and baker for Bake Shop 6. What got you into baking? Oh man, I don't know. Uh, you don't know? You just, I, did, just woke up and suddenly, oh my goodness, I'm a baker. Uh, I guess the going way back to vocational school during high school, they rotate you throughout all the stations. You're cooking, you're prepping, you're baking, you're washing dishes, and this is all for a week. And so when I was in high school, towards the end of the year, the chef instructor, Jack Haran, pulled me to the side and said, you know, every time you're on the baking station, your, your work reflects some sort of interest to it. He thought that I had an eye for it. And I, you know, I took that and uh, just kind of said, whatever, I don't want to bake. I want to do the guy thing, get on the hotline, you know, and do the culinary side. And then uh, after high school, I did the one year program at the Norfolk Tech. And again, same setup, you, you go through stations, you do the cooking, you do the prepping, you wait on the, the staff, you do baking, um, and you wash dishes. And the, the, all these stations, you do that for a week. And again, it was towards the end of the year, it was uh, chef instructor Evan Davis that had said, you know, every time you're on the baking station, you seem to have an eye for it. And again, it was just one of those, nah, you know, I don't want to bake, that's for, you know, that's, that's for the girls, you know, I want to, I don't want to be on the line and cook, you know? And then I guess when it came time to plan for spending the big bucks on a, a school, you know, those the chef instructors, what they said to me kind of stuck with me. And, you know, when it comes time to apply for the school, you choose whether you want culinary or baking and pastry. So apparently it stuck with me and I ended up choosing baking and pastry. And I also went to the, uh, to the school, the Culinary Institute of America, that was a school that both of those chef instructors had uh, had gone to as well. How's the transition been from the wild life of Las Vegas to the mellow small town charm of Pottsville? Well, I grew up here, so I, I am familiar with the area, and that's one of the reasons why we did uh, we moved back. My wife is from Wisconsin, uh, Green Bay, and uh, we met in Las Vegas and um, hit it off right away when we met, got married, and you know once. Once the topic of children come along, it's one of those, you know, for us, having the same sort of views of life and, and, and living was one of those. We don't want to really raise children in a fast-paced city. Uh, so it was just kind of brought up that, hey, you know, uh, why not a small town? And uh, once the plants sort of got rolling, uh, we ended up choosing back here. Possibly. Have there been any surprises along the way getting big shops set up? Surprises with the, the baby? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All the labor behind it, you know. You, you start off with a plan and see if there's any brick to be exposed. We originally weren't going to go down to the all the way down to the wood. It was just supposed to be painted over and I don't know what happened. I guess somebody somebody scraped too far down and we saw the wood, it was just too beautiful to, uh, to cover up, so we ended up taking the time to display the wood, bring it back to life. So that was like, you know, the labor part of it all. <laughs> bringing the old building back to life. Build, bringing it back to life, yes. What is it about baking that appeals to you? What appeals to me about baking? Oh man, I don't know if we have, you got a week we could talk about this? <laughs> um, it's everything. It's taking ingredients in its rawest form and then following a simple ratio, some mixing techniques involving time and temperature and you get a product that you can eat, you can look at, you can see it, you can smell it. And it, uh, that's what it is. Um, and it's purest answer. What's the best part of running bake shop for? Six. Oh, big Sorry. <laughs> That's all right. Sorry. Sorry. Um, I would say the best part of running Big Shop Six is, you know, when a guest comes in and and they try you for the first time, and then when they come back and they're like, "Yeah, I had the rye, I had the pumpernickel, and it took me back. It 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 was right on. Way back when I remember when I was a kid, my mom made it, or my grandma made it. You know, coming in so early in the morning if i if i leave i'd have to come in um but if i stay and work 24 36 hours 
it's the rush of I'm preparing stuff for the people. You know, no one's awake. It's three, two, three o'clock in the morning. Nobody's out, and I'm sitting here getting ready for you and getting inspired. You know, it's um, like almost kind of like a Santa Club situation. You're preparing the surprises for the day. Absolutely, yeah. What advice do you have for those interested in getting into baking? <laughs> getting into baking, you better change your sleeping habits. You know, it's it's baking is a science, and you. You have to get a really good foundation for uh, product knowledge, uh, mixing techniques, you know, just the whole the whole vocabulary in this in this field. Um, once you understand the science behind everything and the way, you know, sugars work, fats and oils work, gluten works, it's kind of fun that you can push the limits of those products and see where they go, you know, um, that, and, that, and that's the fun part, you know, uh, I, I don't know that I want to do anything else other than what I'm doing right now. Will you be running any special promotions during the Block of Art? Promotions during the Block of Art, uh, you know, we're just going to open up, uh, I'm going to as with any day, I'm just going to pour my heart and soul into my products and uh, go from there. You know, well, there'll be bread, there'll be biscotti, sweet stuff. You know, it's, again, uh, talking about being an art, and this is an art, um, what motivates you is inspiration and how you feel that particular day. Um, so I'm just going to, I'm just going to wing it and we'll, we'll take it from there. Keep it a surprise. And some delicious food. I love <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. All right, so take it from me, uh, Brian Salak at Big Shop 6. Join us at uh, Block of Art events starting Friday, the 28th. We start off with a dance at the Ramada, sort of a meet and greet. Uh, this is the big event on Saturday, the 29th, beginning at 10 a.m. Uh, come down, support the local arts, support your local community. Um, like I said, local artists, everything gets put back into the, uh, into the area. Um, you support the arts, you support inspiration. Thanks. All right, thank you for sitting down with us, Brian. My pleasure, thank you.